Good afternoon. This is a spontaneous video this afternoon to share with you a card that I really enjoyed creating and was inspired by the amazing Delise Cram, who lives in New Zealand and was a farmer of cows, obviously. And she saw cows the first time she saw the hippest hippos stamp set. They're actually hippos and they're super, super cute. And you've probably seen lots and lots of great projects with them. But when Delise saw them, she created cows out of them. So we did this as our team project this week. So I thought I'd just share it with you as well. Um, what we did use for the background for our card was, I'll just move my stamp set over here, was the beautiful, I'll just move my stuff. Celebration, soft sea foam, and pool party cards and envelopes. They have a lovely floral design printed on them, and I thought that the soft sea foam sort of could pretend to be, <coughs> excuse me, grass in the background for the cows. Hi, Lynette. It's lovely that you could join me. You're amazing. Seeing I didn't tell anyone I was coming. <clears throat> Rightio. Now I have done a bit of the die cutting already. I just wanted to show you this gorgeous ombre shimmer for the um, new in colours. So this is the sweet sorbet piece. You get lots of lovely shades out of the same piece of cardstock, which really works beautifully when you're doing die cutting and stuff like that. See all the different colours of the flowers. Um, and I'll just pop these all up here so that I can see what I've got. Another heart there. And I've got a couple of little tufts of grass. These dies, let me show you the dies. Not only did the dies have the outlines for the beautiful hippos in the stamp set, but they also have, so there's your outlines there. I also have a tub, like a washing wash tub, <coughs> bath tub. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I have been ill. When I talk, it makes me cough, so that's why I haven't done very many videos lately. Has a boat, the dyes have a boat. They have goggles and a snorkel. The flowers and the and the tufts of grass we're using. This is this little piece here I've seen used for waves as well as um, grassy backgrounds. A gorgeous umbrella, lots of lovely little flowers, a little life ring, sunglasses, party hat, another flower, hearts and a splash. So 19 pieces in those dies. Really fantastic. So, so much fun. You can just have a, have a great time putting things together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do for my grass, I've gone very very basic really and I've cut out two strips of paper of the T Boutique designer series paper this one's for the inside of the card this one's for the outside and all I've done is just chop along in a wavy line and then overlap both of them like that on my card to create my um, the textured background and I'll do the same for the inside pieces as well and what I really came on to show you that's for putting together the card is to actually show you how easy it was to make these guys into cows so I've already cut them stamped them and cut them stamped them using memento black ink <coughs> which means I can use stamping blends on them and I'm using number 800 just for the, the snout and the tum, tummy of the little hippos <coughs> excuse me I apologize <coughs> almost enough to make you not talk at all there you go in her belly so there's one done and 
this little one here, a little ballerina. Imagine her, actually, if you, if you want inspiration for this stamp set, just look online, just Google hippos, hippest hippos, stamping up or card making. There are so many amazing and talented people sharing their gorgeous, gorgeous ideas for this, these lovely stamp sets. I'll just do a little bit inside her ears and inside this, this one. Most of that will be covered up when I do the black later on. Here's another one I like the same with the holding the flower. They're just so much joy. These hippos and so versatile actually. They're able to be used for lots of things. <coughs> Excuse me. And last of all, this little one walking here. And there we go. And what I have used to create the cow element is just a basic black marker. I don't actually have the black stamp and blends, but the marker works brilliantly. So the first thing that um, Delise had was all of the toes, once you colour them in black, it does look like hooves, like the bottom of a, um, what's, it, what's it called, an animal that has hooves. There is a word for it. And then she's just added little splots everywhere. And they don't have to be particularly even because cows have all individual spots. I presume a bit like a fingerprint. That just, doesn't it transform the whole thing? Looks so beautiful and super cute. There you go. There's one into a cow, I get black, totally black ears, splodge on the forehead, splodge down here. I used to be a preschool teacher before being married and having children and one of our favourite songs used to be put a spot over here and a spot over there, put a spot on your ear and a spot on your hair. Put a lot of little spots in the air everywhere. It's a spotty kind of day. There we go. So you've just heard me sing. Don't tell your friends. Okay, now. The little ballerina. And I just, I'm peeking at the comments and when the person, I didn't see what person who said about not being able to talk because it made you cough when you had pneumonia. I have actually had pneumonia a few times and so uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's happened to me a few times and I am asthmatic anyway, so do you have to be careful. Hence my deep and sexy voice. Radio last one. And more spotty. It just, those spots just transform it. Delise, you're brilliant. I love your work. They're so, so gorgeous. See, I don't usually do cutesy. I'm more into, what am I into? I don't know what I'm into. But these are gorgeous. I think I like vintage. I love stamping. Collage stamping and there we go. What did I do with the lid? Oh my goodness. I've lost the lid, people. Mmm. I don't really want to put that down without the lid. 
but I have to keep going for your sake. Okay, hopefully it'll turn up. Now I'm just going to put some Sweet Sorbet highlights on these little cuties to pop up and give it a bit of extra colour. And a little choo 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 and ballet slippers. Oh, to be that graceful. And a little bit of parakeet party for the leaves on these flowers to combine with the parakeet party paper. Okay, so there's our. Did I find a lid when I did that? Nope. There's our cows. Let's put our little cows together. It's bothering me, the lid. Okay. All right. Choose this one to go at the background. Just run a bit of seal along there and put that one up a little bit. And then this one here, I'm going to... <coughs> oh, found the lid. Yay. Thank goodness for that. Going to put some, <coughs> excuse me, dimensionals on my front layer. And then put that there. Then my little, one of those for inside. These three for the front. See my mistake there in the background? And one more. All right. I'm going to pop this little one back here. little one walking stage left onto the scene all right and oh, I need to stamp my greeting and the greeting there are a couple of cute little greetings in this set uh, you're so hip you're always on point which works with the little ballerina love you a ton and ow oh, you really are the best and I like the ow oh, you really are the best but I'm just going to do You Really Are The Best on this one. I'm going to use my marker again just to colour You Really Are The Best. And stamp that in there. Oops. Hmm. Do I like it off centre like that? Not really. So I'm going to give it another go and take a bit more time. Okay. And right. It looks... It does look better. It still looks a little off-center to me, but anyway some dimensionals over that and I know how I can fix that I'll put the love hearts in that white space there to make it look a bit more like it's supposed to look now these guys here if you know me you know my least favorite thing is liquid glue so today I'm going to use mini glue dots to add these little, <coughs> excuse me, elements <coughs> to my page, to my card, to my project, one there, so each of the 
little cows gets their own tuft of grass and some flowers because they're so cute. I actually think I cut out extra flowers this time. So I'll leave one for inside, one more for the... Over there. <coughs> and that one there, and then my hearts. I'm going to put here to offset the fact that it's not really in the middle. So it doesn't look quite so bad. I'm going off there. Oh, well, I do have to do liquid glue for the glasses, don't I? Because they are so very fine. So a little bit. They are so cute, Lynn. They're really adorable. Oh. Oh, of course I did too much glue. And here you go. This one is my glasses for you. Oh my goodness. Why do I not like liquid glue? I'm useless at it. Here we are. Yeah. Let's do the inside now. <coughs> <coughs> a little way and I won't put dimensionals on this time because we're going on the inside of the card and this darling girl can just poke in there and the last flower can be right beside you there you are. My homage to Delise Cram, who showed us all the potential of the hippos becoming cows. Thank you, Delise. And isn't that the cutest card? I hope you enjoyed that. And have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye now.